Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is April the 15th, uh, 2022. We're going to talk about Mullen stock today and why the short squeeze could be over. Yes, I said it. The short squeeze could be over at least momentarily for Mullen stock. Now, I'm here to keep it real. So if you're not a real individual, if you want to be led astray, if you want to get all of the hopium and all of the wishes that Mullen stock is going to hit $500 per share, I'm not for you. I'm here to give you all the real. I'm here to predict and show you that you can do the same thing. You can predict where prices are likely to go without being confused. So welcome to my channel, you guy. If you appreciate my content, then hit the like button. Yeah, share the video and also subscribe to the channel. This is one positive aspect that I know I am creating for every viewer on YouTube. Is I'm giving you all a heads up. I'm showing you that you can actually be in position and win in the market without all of the hoop and the hope lie and all of the, the hope and the moon talk. No, you don't need none of that to be to make money. You don't. So now let's talk about this though, because I'm gonna show you why the short squeeze in Mullen stock could be over. Now, let's not get it twisted. Let's not. I've already been in position. I told you all on my last video on April the 8th that Mullen was weak. So we should not be surprised that price is coming down. I told you all on the 8th to be prepared for Mullen to go lower. And look at the price reaction so far. It's been coming down. Hmm. How do I know that already on April the 8th? How do I know that? Because the charts don't lie. So now, let's go a little bit further. This is Mullen on the two day, right? Now, you guys can see this, how price and Mullen got rejected right here. Let's, let's take a look. Let's dissect this. Price got rejected in Mullen at $3.50 on this two day price bar. The buyers tried to overtake 350 on this two day price bar and they even tried it again on this two day price bar. On each occasion, price fell. It couldn't trade above $3.50 and maintain that. It couldn't. That's one indication to let us know that the short squeeze is over. Now, like I said, momentarily at least. Now, take a look at this. $3 could not be broken following this last two day price bar to where price could not break above $3.50. It could not even break above $3 on this bout. It could not even break above $3 on this two day price bar. You guys can see that buyers are having issues. They're having issues of letting price go up. And when you see these type of things occur, you need to say, all right, cool. The market's not a buying opportunity yet, right? It, it saves you from actually being in some terrible positions. Look at Mullen on a three day. Can you see how we ended on this last three day price bar? Like you tell me, does that look bullish to you? Does that look like the market is strong to you? No, it doesn't. Okay, five day. You let me know. Over the last four five day price bars, right? Look at this one. Does that look strong to you? What about that one? Does it look strong to you? What about this one or that one? <laughs> You're not seeing any strength even on a five day perspective. Weekly time frame. This is even worse. Look what happened last week or this week. Look at that. This tells me that the market is still weak and mulling. That we should not be expecting a short squeeze to occur right now. Hmm. Two weeks, three weeks. You see that? Does that look strong to you? It doesn't. So pretty much what I talked about on April the 8th is still on course to come to fruition. It's still there. Yeah, it's still here. Now, I think I told you that we can see price come in and hold two dollars, right? We literally almost came there on the last trade, literally. So I'm still looking at $2 and I'm still looking at $1.80. I want to see buyers hold this trend. That would be the price to come in and buy the market in Mullen and at least keep the prospect of seeing price go up right there. 
as we continue to trend lower we want to see buyers come in here bounce price here around $1.80 dollar 95 and start to bring the market higher that is the location that we want to see buyers do that now will they who knows maybe the buyers won't be there because this is definitely a downtrending market right now and we won't come into the market until we do see buyers come in and don't get it twisted buyers will show you where they're coming in at so has anything changed from your analysis do you see the market in Mullen doing something different from what I was talking about on April the 8th because so far price is still weak okay nothing has changed I mean even when we look at this on an intraday perspective right this is this is it and this right here right here this is where the buyers are trying to stage comebacks right you can see it you can see it the answers are already here on the chart buyers stage the comeback there they stage the comeback here and they stage the comeback there that is why the market in Mullins trying to stage the comeback over the last couple of two hour price bars like I understand I understand you can see it yourself that buyers are trying to stage a comeback at 220. Now, will they be successful is the is the question that needs to be answered. Because every time that they stood up price at 220, price always came back down to that level. Eventually, buyers are going to leave the market to where you, you think they're going to come in and buy at 220 and the buyers ain't going to be there, right? just because a buyer showed up here and here and here doesn't mean that they're going to show up before time like let's keep it real it's a different moment it's a different time so i'm still going to play the weakest into the market and mulling okay so that is it i think i'm done uh, drop me a comment the comment section is open let me know have you seen anything different that maybe i haven't addressed from a chart perspective don't give me the fundamental analysis because it cannot equate to what prices are going to go it cannot which is why i don't understand why people try to do fundamental analysis is because it does not tell you where price is going to go fundamental analysis does not move price long-term holders does not move price if somebody comes in right before i let you go let me give you all this if somebody comes in and buys a stock right in mullen let's say they bought in at, at two dollars and sixteen cents and they're saying that they're a long-term holder your long-term holdings is not impacting price movement it's like you're stale it's like that once that those shares that you have taken out the market the market is still going to move whether or not you hold for 5, 10, 15 years. Whatever, whatever is available in the market is what's going to move the price then. You just took a couple of shares out the game. But it doesn't mean that you're going to cause demand just because there's there's no there's less shares in the market. It doesn't automatically cause more demand because if people don't want to buy it, then the market has no other option but to go down. just something to think about all right so make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different